When you want to downgrade your Mac to its initial Mac OS version, you probably make a USB installer and downgrade it that way. However, what if you don't have external drives? And what if there was a way to downgrade your Mac without one? And a method to downgrade your Mac to its initial Mac OS version for, or the closest available version without an external drive does exist, but only on any Mac from late 2011 to mid 2020. As you can see, I am, if I go into about this Mac, I'm using a mid 2012 MacBook Pro for this. And so it will work just fine. The other two requirements for this downgrade is to have functional internet access, which most Macs of this era have, including mine, and a keyboard. Otherwise, let's begin. So the first step is to have your Mac completely sh powered down if it isn't. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Another important thing is to, if you have a laptop to keep your cable aside because you're probably going to ne need it. Then press the power button alongside the shift holding down the shift option command and R keys until you see a little globe on your screen. I know this looks weird, but as you can tell, once it says starting internet recovery, then it will, then you should go, then you can go ahead and, and wait and wait for it to finish to load. Once you get to this screen, what you need to do is you need to log into your Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Logged into your Wi-Fi, then your Mac is going to continue loading and it should give you a time on how much SML and how much time is remaining to boot into internet recovery. Just please, please be patient. So now you may think that you can just go, go ahead and go into reinstall OS X or Mac OS or whatever, or wherever, however, that's not at all all what you're you can do what you have to what you're supposed to do it will not work that way what we have to do is go into disk utility wait until you find the drive that you want to install mac os onto which in my case i'm doing dual boot though it'll just erase your whole mac computer's whole drive if you're in a if you're in a partition so right here this is so right here you want to go into erase Make sure it's selected as Mac OS external journal, or you can do, maybe you can do these or APFS if you're having, if your Mac is newer and it come, came natively with the, by, with APFS. Though once you do, you need to go ahead and hit erase. Now I didn't have much data on this, so this didn't take long to erase, but it might take longer for you to erase. And then once your Mac's disk is erased, Head into reinstall OS X, and then just like this, as you can tell, I'm doing Mountain Lion. Then you can to then you can just go. Yes, I totally read the terms and conditions. Then, as you can tell, you can just install Mac OS on your Mac's original Mac OS, just like normal. And please be patient because this is going to take a lot of time. This can take up to this will probably take this will take it for sure at least an hour. And it might even take as much as four. So please be patient and please make sure you're conveniently located near an outlet or somewhere like that because you're might, probably going to need to charge your Mac. Now, as you can tell, I successfully downgraded my 2012 MacBook Pro to OS X 10.5 and hopefully you did. And hopefully you downgraded your Mac to its original Mac OS version as well. And... If you had any issues, please comment. And I didn't help you, wasn't able to help you throughout this video, please comment them down below. And as always, I'm the iTunes family, and peace, and peace out.